Hey, what's up, everybody? We are here at the third week of January 2019. So I'm going to talk to you about the five trends that you really need to be mindful of if you're in solar and sales for 2019. Listen, if you've been in sales and in solar for, for more than a couple of years, you notice there's a big shift on how deals get done. A savvier homeowner, a savvier building owner, there are much more financing options, uh, there's much more competition. So these are the trends that you need to be mindful of to make sure that you stay ahead of the curve, not only for 19, but also for 20 and the end of 2021 when the tax credit expires. Number one is you need to keep the cost of customer acquisition down. And the problem I see now with installers is they're trying to go after everybody or they're trying to go after a market that they used to go after that, they, that doesn't bring in the revenue anymore. Focus on who your real ideal customer is. Have you defined that not only in your mind, have you written it down and does your entire sales organization know that here, here are the exact metrics of the ideal customer we need to go after. Once you define that, then you could target. You could target through advertising, target through content deployment, target through Vehicles like this, vlogs and blogs, target your end customer, which will actually produce better results. Next thing is, is that deploy content to that target audience. You know, create a blog, create a white paper, create a vlog, do a posting, send a motivational tip of the day like I do. Uh, something that gets them inspired to, to look to you as a value creator and being someone who is not only just a value creator, but a trusted advisor. Number three, you know, leverage the falling prices by offering something else, offering an O&M service. Take a look at the Omidian service. It's, it's super fantastic. It's a cash performance guarantee. You can't go wrong. And this is, this is not a warranty, it's a guarantee. Guarantee means you're gonna get something absolutely in return. So check out the Omidian uh, solution. Okay, number four. Four we're gonna go to is, um, so facts tell and stories sell. Listen, everyone's got that fact sheet. Everyone has that sheet that they can go after and say, okay, these are all the features I have. These are all the things that I've done. Here are my logos, here are my references. Here's how long I've been in the business. Grandpa started the company and grandma started the company and I've been in business for 50 years. Nobody cares about that. People care about themselves. But people will care about the story you tell that makes them the hero. This is really important. There's a book I want you guys to get. It's called Building a, uh, Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. It's in my blog. I'll send a link here on YouTube so you can see it. Two quick things about the story. One is, you're not the hero. You could be the hero and say, hey, I'm the greatest installer. I get all these installations from my referrals and I'm the greatest thinks in sliced bread. That's okay, but you will, com you will completely limit yourself. You'll put a glass ceiling on your growth. You wanna break that glass ceiling? You wanna really have geometric, you know, rocket, skyrocket growth? Make your customer your hero, unlimited referrals. Number five is better coaching. Sales leaders are really good at what they do, but they need to be better at more things. And one of the things they need to be better at is coaching and mentoring. And I have to tell you, 98% of the problem isn't usually with a salesperson, it's usually with the sales leader. And for you sales leaders that are watching this, I know you're not gonna like me for saying it, but I'm just gonna be very transparent and truthful with you. They say the chokehold on every industry is the leader. The chokehold on every sales organization is the person that runs sales. And it, it's not because you're a bad person, it's just because you're not equipped to be able to coach and manage a sales organization. If you're a VP of sales, you need to know the entire process, the entire sales process. You don't know that. And listen, so those are the five trends. Guys, hope this was helpful. You can find me at theajcgroup.com. If you like more, please subscribe. Share it out with someone who needs it right now. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Remember, live with passion. Until next time, we'll see you soon.